but yesterday my outro got deleted when I was editing the video. So I guess today we're gonna do an intro outro combination for you people that didn't get to see everything. So yesterday we had came over here, Adam and I, and we uh, had did all the reinforcement for the front mounts and the back mounts. And then we also did box in the uh, the back piece for the suspension arms for what I had to cut out for the clearance of them. Um, so boxed in and everything like we wanted to. Um, today we're just going to be grinding down all the excess welds. It was kind of hard for us to do a lot of overhead welding. That was new to me and I don't know if it was really new to Adam. But on places that were like really up high I in like weld kept falling down and it was just a pain we also didn't we didn't prep a hundred percent like we should have but we prepped it enough to where it's definitely gonna be okay so it is what it is i'm just here to get this car drifting better you know it's it's a drift car i want to fucking go out there and rip shitties and not have to worry about axles breaking and all that so we'll have to see how this plans out then I want to get rid of all this junk. So anyone that has a, a S12 that wants wants this uh, IRS suspension or this subframe, go ahead and uh, hit me up because I don't want it junk. But I am gonna be taking the rotors from it. So um so now what Alex and I are gonna be doing is taking this thing back down, prepping it. We're going to paint it today. Going to get her going. So, without further ado, let's get today cracking. By the way, this person here, this is my cousin Alex. He's here to he's here to put in some hard hours today. He's he don't know yet, but I'm gonna make him clean the shop later too, so Getting there. Alex is over here working his heart out. Same with me. I got this thing ground down to what I want it to look like before I'm gonna get it all primed up. But I am gonna go take it over to Darren across the street over here. I'm gonna have him make me these uh just little covers for around these instead of having to cut it off. Just gonna cover it up, make it look nice, told him to tack it on, and I'm just gonna seam seal it. Then I'm gonna seam seal all the rest of this. And then uh, let it sit, and then we're gonna paint it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get, you know, every last bit of it off on here, but this is, this is more than good enough for the girls I hang out with. So it's, it's what it is. Check her out. She's coming out good. Can't wait to get it painted and put it in the car, man. I'm fucking pumped. I got full GK Tech arms too. I don't know if I've shown you guys or not. 
but the rear, the only thing I don't have are lower control arms, but I mean, I got all the other, all the other arms and everything, so can't wait to put them on, man. They've been sitting there for about five, five, six months. I've already ordered everything and I was waiting from another company for the other uh, subframe kit, so that held me back and then I decided I was just gonna go with the response type. They, they ended up shipping it to me in like, I don't know, I think they shipped it to me in like a week, week or something, so you know, I mean, I had to, had to get this stuff done, man. I got drift events to make, so I'm pretty pumped though, it's becoming reality. It's, it's really not as hard as, as it seems to be. I mean, if, if you got a welder and you can lay it down, you know, I mean, I mean, look at me, for example, we're not the best welders, but I'll guarantee you that I'll never have a problem with this subframe breaking or anything. And if you're not satisfied with the welds, I mean, grind it down, man. If you can't find it, grind it. Or is that, does that have to do with like a, that's like a manual manuals only or something right whatever either way same thing man you know just send it that's how i think of it but yeah man look at that look at that thing look at that that looks so fucking cool then look at alex over here putting in work kids putting in some work shaping these things out making them look solid and he did these over here too check these out I didn't want to I didn't want to grind all crazy on the subframe because you know like the strength and everything I feel like is in those welds even though they're thick and a little ugly I feel like you know like that's that's the big point of the or like you know the the most structure is is where I have it welded I just didn't want to grind it down but these I mean, look at that. He he made it look perfect, and I feel like that's still real strong, you know. So I'm just gonna seam seal a little bit of this up, and then we're gonna paint it with that uh that rubberized undercoating stuff. Both sides, same here. Seam seal that up. Seam seal all up in there. Like I said, we're getting there. Definitely gonna be able to get it done today. So let's freaking do it. Hey. Oh yeah, we gotta hurry up. We gotta get. We only got a little bit of time left, so I mean it's crunch time now. We got a, we got a dinner reservation for Benny Hanna's tonight. You know, celebrate our Fourth of July because this is America, baby. Hell yeah. So. Japanese restaurant for America Day. Hell yeah. But we gotta get some shit done, so let's get her cracking, people. My welder was, uh, my welding guy was a little busy over there, so I just took, uh, the good old Lincoln Flux, and, uh, I made my own little beauty panel pieces. It don't, it don't connect all the way here, but oh well. But it, it does, it looks a lot better than having it all open, a little more structure, and I mean, it, it looks decent, man. So, let's get this thing ready for paint and get ready to head out for some good dinner. Out the underneath of the car that Alex did. So let's check her out here. 
so we're all boxed in in here and we're all sealed up and painted it's not a hundred percent beautiful with the the seam sealer that stuff's kind of messy but it is what it is man like i say all the time you know this is a drift car this is not a show car i'm here just to make sure that this is gonna hold and not give me any problems and i'm pretty sure with everything that we had done adding this support bar in the middle here to just complete welding mig welding a lot of these areas man and then seam sealing it all the seam sealer itself ain't really gonna strengthen the chassis it's more just you know preventing it from rusting but i mean look at that man bam everything sealed up painted ready to go subframe is now painted last clear coat coming up and then tomorrow hopefully if i if i make a decent amount of time we will be installing this puppy with all its new control arms the diff put the diff in the axles in put my wheels on then i'll just be waiting for the the drive shaft i mean it's it's just you know right around the corner now we're we did all the hard part now we just wait for the little tiny simple things and she's ready so heck yeah man i'm really pumped i can't thank enough for everyone that's you know that's helped me man i mean this would have been way harder if if I wouldn't have had the help that I did, so really appreciate it. Stay tuned. We're gonna be doing a good amount of content. Hopefully, we're gonna try to get Adams Camaro up on the channel as well. That guy's doing some crazy, crazy stuff to that thing. So you're gonna want to stay uh, stay updated for sure on the channel and and see what that thing has in store for it. But um, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and share this i wanted to do this just to show everybody with the s12s and everything how to really do it there's a whole bunch of write-ups and like you know everyone knows that you can get this kit but i want to show you what you actually have to do you know to get it done and me personally how we boxed it you know like this doing the box like this i've seen people do a million different ways man but i just had this material here in the shop ready to go so i said why not you know like that's all free money for me, so. All right, man, but enough rambling on from me, guys. That's it for today. Talking.